let's uh, start diving right on in. Um, this is going to be a fun one today. We are covering the top types of real estate videos that are out there, the, the top types of videos that you can shoot, that you can create. Um, so this is going to be a blast. If you've had success with videos, I'd love to hear about that in comments as we go as well. Um, definitely let us know. So um, let me take us over here. And as I said, we're going to be talking about the top types of um, video that every real estate professional needs to be making today. And this is going to be a fun, fun webinar. But before I get into that, um, I do want to mention just quickly that this is presented to you by uh, two groups, first of which is Craig's, um, the Real Estate Technology Institute. Always thank you for, for joining us and for bringing us this amazing content, um, as well as my organization. So Craig's group which I am also an instructor with and also very involved with, is the Real Estate Technology Institute. If you're interested in learning any sort of uh, technology or marketing for your real estate business, that is the place to go. There are thousands of videos from a bunch of different fantastic instructors. So check that out if you haven't already. You can go to reti.us. Um, that is reti.us. The other group is my group, which is uh, Service for Life. Um, if you are interested in generating 100% of your business from repeat and referral business, if you're interested in not feeling like you are having to chase leads um, and just go down that rabbit hole on a monthly basis and you're not sure maybe where that next check is coming from, uh, definitely check out Service for Life. Um, I think you'll all enjoy it. So. As I mentioned, we are going to dive in today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the top types of uh, video that every real estate professional needs um, and needs to use in their business. And before we do, I'll give you a quick uh, overview of the workshop today of what we're going to cover. First is why video works so well. This is, we're going to take like two seconds on this. We're going to spending like no time. If you don't know why video is important at this point, uh, there is not a ton more that we can do, but we're going to show you a couple stats just to make sure you're a believer. Um, we're going to talk about the best video platforms for your business because, you know, there's everything from YouTube to TikTok and there's a whole range in between of places that you can, you can be creating videos and getting views. We're going to talk about the ideal video length um, and what you can do uh, and what sort of videos you're going to be making and how long to make those videos based on the platform. We're going to be talking about the top types of videos and break them down by each one of those segments. There are certain types of videos that work much better for shorter content and other types of videos that work much better for longer content. And we're going to get into that uh, in detail today. So first is the world of video. Um, just quickly, six out of 10 people would rather watch video online than television. Uh, viewers retain 95% of a video message compared to only 10% uh, when reading text. So it's kind of amazing when you think about it, um, you know, just how crazy it is. I don't know, you want to cover these ones, Craig? Sure, I mean, no matter where <laughs> you do video, it not only dominates, but it, I would say it elevates, it takes whatever you're doing to the next level. So. You do a post on social media with just plain text and pretty much people ignore it. The second you add a video into your post, it immediately gets 48% more views organically, meaning just it'll get shown more in the feed, 48% more than a regular post would. When it comes to engagement, uh, video posts get eight times more engagement than a text post and three times more engagement than an image post. And the true sign of engagement isn't did you like it, did you click or comment, is did you share it? And video posts on social media get shared 1,200% more than a regular post with text and images. So across the board, it just totally elevates your social media game. Absolutely. And it's kind of amazing. And we're not going to go into any more depth than this. I'm just going to ask, are you convinced yet that video is one of the absolute best ways to engage your audience? And I would love to know uh, down in comments, in chat, um, or if you're convinced that video is the way to go and you need to absolutely dive into this um, and get videos going consistently in your practice. So let me know in comments that you are convinced that you're ready to go with video. So now that we're convinced on video, it's time to pick the right platform. 
Um, and that really has to do with a number of different things. I love it. Will says, yep, for sure. I love it. We're, we are for sure right there with you. Um, so it's time to pick the right platform. And I just want to give you a quick sort of overview of some of the different um, platforms and the demographics uh, that's out there. Because the demographics really dictate the type of content that might be the best, depending on which uh, platform you're using and what type of content that you want to be creating. So first is YouTube. Um, this tends to be um, it, most popular with 35 and under, but barely. It really sort of, you know, runs across the board and covers all um, demographics in a, in a wide array when it comes to YouTube. Um, it reaches more 18 to 34 year olds than any other TV network. And there are a billion hours watched per day and 70% of which is on mobile. So just to give you an idea, if you're, if you're looking to use YouTube, the kind of audience that you're going after and that you might be reaching and, and the kind of engagement that they have. The next big one is um, Facebook. And this is again, evenly split up by age group. Uh, there's no difference from the overall trends in video to what we see within Facebook's trends and the usage of which. The average user spends about 34 minutes a day on Facebook. Um, the, the users who are on it um, tend to make a bit of a different salary. Uh, it's kind of interesting how Facebook does that. Um, but people really love to scroll on their breaks when it comes to Facebook. So while it might be 34 minutes per day, that is done in smaller segments of two, three, four minutes at a time, as opposed to very long, uh, drawn out periods of watching a longer content form. Um, the next big one is Instagram and that's, uh, 62.7% or 18 to 34. So we're looking at, again, a, a younger, we're moving to a little bit of a younger demographic, although still very much, um, in the world of folks who are looking to buy homes. Um, average user spends about 30 minutes a day. So actually less time than people spend on Facebook. Uh, and they tend to like stuff like travel and music and food and drink and following a lot of that sort of stuff. Um, Heather Haas pops in and says, I have a lot of breaks. And I'm actually gonna mention you coming up next because speaking of short breaks and shorter video, um, the next big one out there to pay attention to is TikTok. And I know Heather who is in chat uses TikTok a ton. Uh, and has had a ton of success with it. So shout outs to Heather. Um, but demographics on TikTok is kind of interesting. 62% are between 10 and 29. So we're looking at a much younger demographic set than Instagram and even much younger than Facebook uh, and YouTube. So it is a lot different in terms of the audience that you are going to be catering to. Now that being said, this is somewhat the you know, folks that are very much buying and selling home don't think it hasn't penetrated into an older generation because it certainly has begun to. Um, but the majority of the views right now are younger, but hey, it never hurts to get in with the next generation of home buyers, uh, home sellers. The other thing to keep in mind is the average user spends 52 minutes per day on TikTok. 52, that's almost double the amount of time that people spend per day on Instagram. Now, considering yes. Instagram and Facebook are owned by the same company, I kind of go back and forth because there's a ton of overlapping users. And then if you add them both together, because a lot of people are using both, it's really more like the same amount of time between Facebook and Instagram as one versus TikTok as one. The other thing to keep in mind is the demographics of the other two are very much further across the board or a wider set of demographics. Uh, one could argue that 10 year olds have a little bit more time during their day to watch an hour of videos um, on TikTok. So, but don't sleep on this. Um, TikTok is really, really incredible. Um, so Heather Haas says, fun fact, Instagram users tend to be more qualified for financing. Not sure why I get a lot of referrals and such plus recognized in public, which is cool. It's so true. I mean, it is, TikTok is incredibly powerful right now. They keep growing in numbers. The amount of time people spend on it um, is wild. So I wouldn't sleep on it, but that being said, 
you've got to know how to work with TikTok and the types of videos that work well within TikTok versus the types of videos that work well in other places. The other thing to keep in mind is that for influencers, for people that have uh, grown to a point in, in their accounts where they're not small, um, one or two person, you know, following them type accounts, there is an incredibly high engagement rate, um, right around 18%, which when you compare that to a Facebook page of, you know, one to 2%, you know, eight or 10% actual viewership and then 2% actual engagement on a page, um, that's pretty wild. Uh, I would say that Facebook groups might be able to beat that out in some circumstances, but again, let's just pay attention to don't sleep on TikTok and pay attention to all these video platforms across the board. Let me ask you, Craig, is there anything you want to add to uh, any of these pieces? I don't think so. I mean, I mean, I don't, by the way, we're really going to get into the kinds of videos in just a moment, but you know, you've got to create, um, but I always say the more exposure, the better. So just because you put a video on one doesn't mean it can't be shared and duplicated to another. Absolutely. And a lot of these folks are trying to compete with each other within the same space. So the same type uh, story things that you will see on TikTok or Instagram are now making their way onto, um, onto YouTube. So let's dive in and talk about video length because within each of these platforms, there are sort of three segments of video lengths that kind of make a difference when it comes to um, how you set this up and the types of video content that you want to go after. So first of all, short video, okay? Incredibly short video. These are five to 60 second videos. Um, and you'll see folks are trying to compete within this space across the board. Instagram stories, um, Instagram itself. So Instagram stories are a maximum of 15 seconds. Uh, Instagram videos are a maximum of 60 seconds while the average is 26. Um, Facebook stories are a maximum of 20 seconds. Facebook video ads, 15 seconds. TikTok, originally 15 seconds, now it's 60. Um, YouTube shorts, which is pretty new and brought out by YouTube to compete with this exact, these stories is a maximum of 60 seconds and Twitter is in there at 30. So you kind of get an idea here that there are these important type videos that are five to 60 seconds long that captivate audiences that people will watch back to back to back. And all the platforms have seemed to figure that out and say, yeah, hey, there is some success that people are having in doing these types of videos. So we need to prioritize them and make them stand out within our own platform. So we might as well take a lesson from that and learn from that success. Um, am I right, Craig? I'll, I'll spit this over yep. to you for a second here. So yeah, short, what have you seen as a trend for short videos? Um, I mean, one fun, I mean, a lot of people, you can't really kind of sell an entire neighborhood into all that in a short period of time. It's more about being fun and creative. Now, don't be wrong. You can, show a house quickly or just kind of show the neighborhood very fast, but it's more about kind of just getting people's attention very fast and getting in and getting out. Yep. Absolutely. Some, some of the other success I've seen with this too, that uh, has started getting more popular is to string these 15, because people w seem to watch these back to back and the trend has become to watch these videos back to back. Folks are stringing together these short videos in a back-to-back -back sequence. So maybe selling a neighborhood isn't a two or three minute video. Maybe selling a neighborhood becomes five back-to-back 10 -back second clips about yes. that neighborhood. It's just a different framing of some of the same content um, and how you are having to focus on that. But we'll get into more of the types and the pieces that work well, because the fun part is all these platforms actually put out reports it tells you what works well. Like every year, it blows my mind that people like still, they every year they put this out and they're like, hey guys, so these are the top 500 most performing, right? And you can categorize them. Here are the top types of performing stuff. It's just kind of amazing to me um, that we have access to that and, and can use that sort of stuff. Now, the next one here is medium length video. Now, these are the one to, we'll say eight 
minute videos. And I say that very, very specifically because it seems to be that's the barrier between people thinking it's something that they can watch in the next few minutes, you know, sit there and watch on a break versus something that they are going to say, eh, 9, 10, 11, 12 minutes. I can't watch that right now. I'm going to have to save that for later or set aside time for that or do something like that. Now in this, um, these are either within the Facebook feed um, or the, in the YouTube feed. Those are sort of the primary places of content um, that people really look to when they're looking for these types of videos or, or this type of content. Now, Facebook actually in their, um, in some of their publications have said that they give priority to videos that are longer than three minutes. So sub 15 seconds for video ads, sub 15 seconds and 20 seconds for stories is what gets priority and above three minutes and not a whole ton in between those two. Now you'd obviously don't want to just add filler and not have good content because that's not good for you either. But keep in mind that the type of content that they're looking for is in that three plus minute mark. Then you go to YouTube and YouTube prioritizes content and seems to do best with content that is about six to eight minutes. It's longer form videos, right? Um, things, things that are a little bit more in depth, still not incredibly long, but a little bit more in depth. That brings us to long form video. And I guess before I dive into that, um, Craig, is there anything you want to add for medium length? Um, well, to me, it's always like people ask that question all the time. What's the best length of a video to create? What I always say is whatever content you're creating is what kind of dictates the time length. Like if you're going to just talk about a property, you're not, again, going to probably want to wander on six to eight minutes uh, because even though YouTube might allow it to go longer or might perform there, it's people are going to lose interest. So you've got to kind of figure, think about what is it you're trying to promote? And then that will help you figure out how long you need to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good call, Craig. And, and I think that's one of the biggest keys there because these platforms do tend to penalize you if people are not watching, if they click in and then click out of your content. So if people don't watch or only watch 20% of it or so on and leave your content, people tend, the, the platforms tend to uh, penalize you for that, essentially. And then we get into long form content. And these are best done on uh, Facebook feeds, Facebook Lives, YouTube feed, YouTube Live, and uh, Twitch Live. And it's interesting because they all um, actually really, really like longer form video, much like some of the stuff you're seeing today where people are hosting workshops, uh, hope, hosting helpful content, hosting product reviews or things like that, where they are much longer form content. Again, it needs to be helpful. It needs to be stuff that people are interested in and are willing to watch the whole way. But um, keep in mind that this style content works well. And we're going to show you some types of videos that might fit well uh, inside of that. So is everybody ready to get into the content that works well? And we're going to break it down by ideal time length. And then within that time length, the top performing, the most engaging um, ideas and things for you. Is everybody ready for, is everybody excited for that? The other thing is, is everybody ready to add their own ideas? Because I want to see other ideas that have worked for you specifically beyond what we have seen um, just in the chat. So let me know if you are ready to add uh, your ideas as well. We would love to see those. All right, ready? Okay, so short videos. Short videos, five to 60 seconds. These are pieces of content that work incredibly well okay these are things that the, the platforms themselves within the last year have said these are standout categories standout types of things that people are using consistently and are getting the most engagement on so these are things like challenges and pranks uh trending hashtags things that are already trending um, and, act, and just following along with the existing trends does very well because the platform knows, oh, that's a trend. People like seeing that. We're going to give you more content like that. Okay. Another thing they seem to really love for short videos is home renovation or do it yourself projects. 
if you are a, you know, somebody that does do it yourself, does, I don't know, woodworking, plays an instrument, whatever it is, your hobby. People actually like seeing very short clips of you doing whatever cool thing it is that is your hobby. The other thing is you can go through homes and show homes much in the same style as the home reno videos that people are very, very interested in. Uh, the next one, I know Heather knows this. Heather, dance videos, song imitations, and voiceovers. Hold on, Craig. I'm going to bring you into testimonials for this. So, well, uh, I figure the dancer, but Heather, Heather's one of the most authentic people I there know. is in the industry. Time, and she does a great job with that stuff. Absolutely. We love it. Um, if you're not already, Heather, drop your, um, drop your TikTok handle uh, in chat here because I would love for these folks to follow along and see what you do. Because, you know, I'm sure there are people out there who go, ah, stupid dance videos. Who wants to, you know, whatever today, right? Along with a video. But if you get creative with it, and Heather does an incredible job of this, um, if you get creative with it, you can include information about home buying, home selling, home all sorts of things um, with your dance videos. So um, keep that in mind because it is definitely something that I think uh, people are sleeping on. But, but keep in mind, this is not just for TikTok. As I mentioned, um, all of the pieces that we're talking about for short video is not just TikTok. Everybody's doing this. Facebook has stories. Instagram has stories. Instagram has short form video, right? Everybody, everybody, all the major networks are doing these short type videos. And these are the things that, that are working. And we need to take a lesson from that. Uh, the next one that is works incredibly well are cute animal videos um people love cats and dogs puppies just the cats way they're jerks the way, just, what what would you say jerks, just say it, i said cats are jerks let's just say it how it is I, well i you know i wish i could disagree with you craig as i want <laughs> i want to i want to be here be like and i love i love cats i do i grew up with an awesome cat named Cyrus and he was he was incredible. He lived about 21. He was almost 22. Um he's a Maine Coon cat. But I digress. I digress. Let's get back into it here. So yeah, cute animal the- videos, you know, I can't bring this up without mentioning that. Um but again, think about them as a great way to get attention and get some eyeballs onto the subject that you want to uh you know bring people to. Um Recipes and cooking. If you are into recipes and cooking, you cook consistently. Picture short videos of your uh, your meals, what you've made, your recipes, things like that. Very quick. People love that sort of stuff. Makeover videos. Now, that can be anything from makeover your face to makeover a property like we talked about with home renovations. Um, or makeover some sort of you're doing a project at home, you're transforming a chair, you're doing a wall, you're doing whatever. People love that stuff. For whatever reason, people love that content when it is in short form like we're talking about. So don't be afraid of it um, and and try to utilize some of that in your business. Now, I don't want to go too much further here before I mention to folks who are still on this. Um, we're actually going to be giving away a cheat sheet at the end of this. Um, that is uh, something that you can use to brainstorm. Um, a bunch of these video ideas. So if you hang around for that, I I break it down to some very, very specific real estate ideas that are within some of the the overall topics that we're talking about today. Um, And you're welcome to download that. And I'm going to give that away uh, at the end. But you have to do one thing for me, okay? Please, everyone who is here, um, I will get to that download in a second. I will show that to everybody. Um, But... Please share this with some folks. Share this video, share these lives, share this works, workshop series um, with friends of yours. Tell people about what we're doing here because we love creating this stuff. We love helping everybody, um, but we want to make sure that we're getting this out to the most people we can 
and we want to see this grow. So I would really love if everybody here with us uh, could share this with a friend, share this with somebody you think this could be helpful, or any of our workshops that we've done so far, or even just that we have these workshop series uh, in this group. We would really appreciate that. All right, so let's keep going here. So next is medium length video, okay? Um, that is content that works well, uh, is educational videos, uh, walkthroughs, how-to videos, top best lists, Q&A sessions, time-lapse videos, music videos. And these are things that, again, are some of the top categories and the types of videos that do the best. Now, Craig, do you want to add anything on, on to some of the, the good ones that you've seen within this category? Um, I'm trying to think here, walkthroughs, explainers. Um, well, I think that, and it might fall under the top best list, but reasons to move to my town, stuff like that, or, yep. you know, uh, anything that's locally jet, like oriented, like, you know, um, talking to local shop owners, talking to golf pros at your golf courses, or, you know, just schools and nightlife reviews, stuff like that of your area. Absolutely. The other thing that are really great are time-lapse videos. Um, if you can get the same pictures, the same time-lapse, uh, over time, people really, really love those, especially about an area. And it's kind of easy to, to highlight a neighborhood or a community while you're doing um, a time-lapse video, if you take some time to put that together. Um, Craig mentioned some of the, the great ones out there, but again, I have a full cheat sheet that we're gonna give away at the end of this that includes all of the ideas that we've brainstormed. Uh, we'd love to hear more from you as well. But these are the top categories and types of videos that do very, very well. Um, countdowns are huge, exactly. Top five lists, um, the best whatever. Best sports shops, the best burgers, the best tacos, the best, you name it, um, does very, very well for videos, okay? Now, let's move on to long form videos because um, these are things like product reviews, educational videos, how-to videos, and recorded and live events. Um, it, it's a little bit harder to produce long form content if you're not already doing it consistently, um, but it is something that works well and certainly gets people out there uh, and, and does very well for, for the YouTube stars that work, that work it and do it consistently. Um, but be ready and know that this is a long form video is a little bit more of a commitment than just being able to shoot um, a shorter video. Now, that being said, shooting a short video is a commitment as well. So to, and to grow a following like that is a, is a pretty big commitment as well. So try not to overextend yourself by doing too many of these um, different things. All right. So that pretty much covers... Um, what we're covering in terms of the types of content and some of the content that works the best. Do we have any questions before we continue on here? I don't see any chatter. Uh, Heather put a good comment, but uh, make sure you like what you're talking about as well. You're not going to catch me talking about the top five golf courses, maybe top five mini golf. That's 100% accurate. Absolutely. Right? I, yep. I, Absolutely. I pick up a topic that you're personally passionate about, or you're going to run out of passion very quickly for it. Totally. Totally. Like here, it would be the, the top five creamy stands. <laughs> and if you're not ordering a maple creamy in Vermont, eh, we're not friends anymore. I don't know what to say. I get that. Yeah. All right. Um, so we have a lot more content that we could cover here today. Um, there are a lot of tools out there that give you much more in-depth things you can go into and search for, you know, the best keywords and what topics are doing well. And I mean, Craig, all that sort of stuff, right? Yep, absolutely. A creamy is like a better, it's like so, It's like if you put soft serve and regular ice cream together. Like the, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> like it's like really, really good soft serve. Like, like homemade soft serve almost. 
that they then make with with like maple sugar and awesomeness. I'm intrigued. I don't know where they get the awesomeness. I think it's from the woods in Vermont. I'm not really sure. But it's uh it's incredible. They're called creamies here and um they're awesome. So, yeah, the best creamy stands. That's what we do. That's what I would do here first off. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> that kills me. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, moving on. Um, <laughs> so, um, like I said, there is a lot more um, that we can cover when it comes to how to go search for video content, um, how to come up with the right keywords. Uh, you know, all that sort of. Craig, do you want to just kind of give them an overview because? We, we have a master class coming up on this and there's just a whole bunch that we're going to cover there that we're not able to cover in these workshops that, I don't know, maybe you can give them a better idea. Yeah, well, well first, next week on the 24th, um, same time, 2 o'clock Eastern, we're going to be doing the next workshop on video gadgets and gear. Uh, and Alex and I's kind of like little kind of humorous but true line is, We've already wasted enough money figuring out what's the best cameras, the best lights and microphones and everything else. That way you don't have to. So that's what that session is, is we're going to help you figure out if you need to buy anything to create video, whether it's streaming at your desk or out in the field or for a property, like what kinds of uh, tools you would need, the hardware and software and everything to create great video. Uh, and then the following week, and we're going to do this one on a Thursday, uh, we're we'll be doing our real estate video masterclass. We're there. We can go deep dive on to teaching you how to really figure out the right kind of content to create. And we're going to show you all the, everything really about just how to create great video, the software to do it, actually creating it and the little cheat sheets Alex has been talking about and everything else. All right. So there, I just put a link into chat for the free workshop, which is next week. Um, I don't know if Craig mentioned that, but the, the one next week is free. Um, the gadgets and gear workshop that we're going to be doing is uh, another free one. Um, and then we are going to be doing a masterclass on 6.3, as Craig mentioned. We're going to be covering in a lot more depth. We're going to give you a whole bunch of tools um, on exactly how you can um, figure out which videos to create. Uh, exactly how you can shoot video, get comfortable doing video, edit video, uh, post it to the right place. It's pretty much an end-to-end -end masterclass with everything you need to get going on video and really make it um, a great part of your practice. Is that about cover, Craig, for, uh, for what's coming up next? And then I'll get into what folks can download and the, the giveaway that we're doing. Uh, yeah, I think as far as I can tell, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I can't think of anything else. I mean, the whole, as you guys know, if you've attended our master classes and our workshops, we always over deliver what we promise. So that's the idea is you come in thinking you're going to learn just about how to create a video and you walk out knowing you're going to be able to do it. Absolutely. And here's, here's what I'm going to do as well. Uh, let me post the master class um, link into chat. There it is. Awesome. All right. So that is the link uh, directly to the masterclass. Um, let me know in chat who is signing up. I will mention something. The uh, masterclass price goes up in a week. So if you register today, uh, you are going to save 10 bucks on the registration uh, as opposed to um, a week from now. So just to let you know, we are trying to do stuff for the folks who commit early. The other thing is uh, the replay is available for anyone who purchases tickets ahead of time. So if you feel like ah, I might not make it or so on, get signed up anyway, lock in your price um, and you'll get access to that replay. So you won't miss out. Um, all right. So let me, is that about it, Craig? Let me take them over and we'll give you the download. Um, this yep. is our cheat sheet. Uh, that we are giving away today. If you head over to agentinnercircle.com backslash video dash cheat. And what this is, is a, um, an idea cheat sheet that gives you a bunch of general categories and then some exact topics. Even with titles, you could go use that very same day 
uh, to start creating videos. So if you're having a, a mental block, you're not feeling inspired, whatever it is, and you need to come up with a video on the fly, um, this is a great cheat sheet that you can do that and just quickly go back to uh, and, and use time and time again. So does everybody appreciate that? Are you excited you're getting surprise giveaways um, as part of this? We always it's do a, this, Craig. It's all of what we do. I know, right? It's just what we do. And that's why I said before, I would really appreciate if everyone that is still with us today, um, invite your friends, invite people that you think can benefit from this, from the content that we're doing from these free workshops uh, into the group. Heather says, I love free stuff. Everybody does, right? I mean, Don't we all? all you need to do is post the cardboard out front and free and whatever trash is just gone. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so um, let me know, folks, uh, if you have any questions um, from today. Uh, we are more than happy to answer questions. And uh, like I said, please let folks know about these free workshops that Craig and I do. Uh, we are constantly covering new topics. And if you have ideas for us, um, we would love to, to see those as well. We are always trying to do the, the best and most useful content and helpful content we can. And also, um, both with, uh, I know with the RETI, we do a lot of partnerships with companies and associations. Um, pretty sure you guys do similar stuff uh, with Service for Life. So if you do like what we do, we always say go check out our different companies, our RETI and Service for Life, and maybe tell your company owner or association you know, leadership about it as well. Absolutely. Randy Seltzer says, nice workshop. Thank you so much, Randy. Um, we greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend with us. Um, and as Craig mentioned, um, two organizations to check out and the, the folks that are bringing this content to you is the Real Estate Technology Institute. If you're interested in learning um, more, if you're interested in learning more for uh, technology or marketing in your business, that is a great place to check out, reti.us. Um, or if you are interested in growing a 100% repeat and referral business, uh, you are, you know, you're worried about chasing leads, um, any of that sort of stuff, check out Service for Life. Uh, it's Absolutely. amazing to see what it does for agents and how many agents have had success with it over the years. You can check that out at serviceforlife.com. Again, that's serviceforlife.com. All right, awesome. Well, I think that about covers it, Craig. Um, thank you, my friend. I greatly appreciate it. This has been fun, as always. Um, always. If folks in chat, let us know if you're going to go to the workshop, and let us know that you're going to invite some of your friends uh, into the group and let them know about these free workshops because we absolutely want to uh, help as many folks as we can. Yep. Awesome. All right. Well, I think that's about it, Craig. Um, you ready to close it down? Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you to everybody. Uh, I hope you all have an incredible day. Uh, and as always, best wishes for your success.